basically when I, I got out of Nestle, I had left Nestle. It was basically um, more so a a proposition so I can go back to court for my kids and right. shit. So after I went. Was well, it on your own? I mean, if I may ask, if it was mm-hmm. on your own? I mean, it's on your own? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, hell yeah. All right, gotcha. So I remember going through that shit, you know what I'm saying? Even when you talk to a lot of people, they tell you you need a lawyer, you need that. You don't need none of that. You just got to do a lot of research, go down there and – I just never tried to make the other parents look bad. And you know that's what I'm I and never that's, went to bury them. That, that's where I'm but at. at the same time, I got something to bury your ass if you want to play like that. And so even when I went um, and the motherfucker got kind of spicy, I just gave them a tip of the iceberg like, hey, nah, do this. And I think that's false. And now they looking like. Well, just let me sign the papers, man. I don't want to beef with this dude because people going to go down there out of anger. And I didn't go out of anger. All I wanted was what's for me. Right. And I just wanted, I wanted share parenting for my kids so I can take care of the half that I helped make. And that was it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's so- cool. Like, I feel it's better for uh, any father to have his rights set in stone because literally I don't even have to call my kid's mother. You know what I'm saying? If they going to be late or they need more time before they drop them kids off, they got to call me and let me know. And I prefer to have it like that. Because if I wanted to be a bitch, I could say, my dude, you know what that court order said? Hey, you better have that motherfucker over there at that time or the police will be at your house. But I don't go through that. I try to, um, I always tried to be the nice guy in every situation, even though it got me fucked over the most. You know what I'm saying? So and it's me, cool. Me, me the caveat, because I mean, since you've been so fucking over, um, shit, transparent or whatnot, um, it's the same thing, but I'm actually going through that now. Well, I should have been going through that for like the last, eh, so what's she, 10 now? So, yeah, about the last five years or whatever, but I didn't win and did, or what was, was she, man, fuck it, I, I, I keep it funky. Uh, the parents about to come here anyway, so, but uh, I, I had to do a read, not a read a term, but a, um, a, uh, adjustment of mm-hmm. my court order to see like the share the share apparent and what they call mm-hmm. it now, um, and that, that's the biggest thing. Like I I don't want the issues. And then my biggest thing is I'm I my situation with my youngest daughter that live here. Mm-hmm. My my biggest thing. I think we spoke this like this was a while ago. We spoke about it, but the biggest thing is that I have to deal. It's not even dealing with the baby mom. It's dealing with the the husband, you know what I'm saying? She married now, whatever, mm-hmm. right there. You know what I mean? So like, so since she been with this fella, I'm 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 dealing with him, and then then on top of that, it's my mother too. You know what I'm saying? My my mother, see my mother, she 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 rock with them and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like but, and then like, it so was, it's, it's, it's kind of when I went through that shit with my son. Like you know, my mother loved my son dearly, so she was a little more cooler with, with them. The, you with know what I mean? Mom. But see, the thing is. You made that kid, right? Or that's, so that's this fact. is no matter who rocks with who, when you go down there and get that shit wrote in stone, it, it's all about you. That's the hard part. And once you get it written in stone, no matter what people got to say, they can't come in between your none. time. So if your baby mother want to let your mom see the kid on her time, fine. Excuse me, but as a father... You got your own time. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? And, and what happened, and I, I give you a scenario um, just a couple of weeks ago. Um, and, and actually, it's my weekend, the court order weekend that I was supposed to get her or whatnot. Um, I went to go pick her up from her school. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? My, my mom, she was like, you want to go get her? Da, da, da. So I'm, I'm like, yeah, I'll be there. Da, da, da. So I went there. I'm in the office. I'm like, yeah, come to pick up, blah, blah, blah. And then um, so I'm, I'm, I'm seeing other people. Parents come in, and they coming out. Got their youngest coming out. I'm like, man, what's going on? Because it's, it's my first time at the school or whatever. Because because right. I, uh, I, I been there before to come see her. And um, long story short, they like, um, well, I called mom, and um, mom said that uh, you're not able to get her and stuff. So I I ain't want to flip out, or whatever. I ain't, but she, you know, I'm, I'm I'm like, do it matter? I might like, do it matter if I got a court order? And she's like, yeah, do you have it on you? But I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm like, no, I don't. But but, you know but see, but, this this how this how <clears> tricky it is. Mom knows she wrong, but it's just all about you always having your back face. So mm-hmm. right now you missed the weekend. Yeah. You can't get that back. So I literally let a situation go from where a person kept my kid away from me for almost a year. Uh, the hardest shit I longer. ever done in my life was, listen, I lost 17 pounds, bro, in less than three months. 
and I knew what I was doing. So when I built up that case and went to court, first thing I said was, um, Your Honor, you know what I'm saying? I ain't seen my kid in this much time. This mother keep telling me I ain't got no rights. And she looked her right in the face and said, Listen, not true. Y'all both got equal rights. If you do that again, you know, he can get rewarded the whole custody, which I never was seeking. Right. But at the same time, I threw in and she kept her away from me for that long. So, like, I can't get that time back. So, can I get her every other weekend like I used to have her on top of my already order? So, now the order that they give fathers is every other weekend, yeah, yeah, that's, that's every other is. Wednesday or something like that. Right, right. So, basically, once she wrote that shit in stone, I was good. Yeah. Because, I mean, for one, you know what I'm saying? So, now I can I get her every weekend. And it, then when we went back to court, I remember me saying, hey. It's actually a Wednesday that I'm not utilizing. She like, no, it's not. I say, Your Honor, correct me if I'm wrong. What is the standard visitation for fathers? Isn't it every other weekend, every other Wednesday? I'm like, so that I've been granted two extra weekends a month. Does that mean I lose my Wednesday? She like, no. And I just looked at her, continue to clip my nails and chill. <laughs> Once you do your reach, put it like this. Yeah, I got it. I mean... She's only fucking with you because she feels that you're not going to go the extra know, mile. Well, the, you know and, what I mean? And, and, and that's what... Because you could have really came back, got the, your paper, and went to her house with the police, and they would have brought your kid out. And, 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 and with that being said, because a lot of people going to hear this shit, and once again, I, I'm not... I mean, it is what it is. Now, I, I didn't been so dormant or quiet mm -hmm. about this shit, so... But, I mean, like... It, and I, I, I never, not once, um, even, like said even anything negative to this young lady or said anything negative like say this quote social media whatever like that this is really by probably the second time i really didn't talk about it on air or on um, this shit but with that being said um yeah i mean i i was just i was just more like man i don't want to i don't want it's not like a, i hate to say i hate to say headache because it's about it's about it's about my youngin you know what i mean mm -hmm. so i hate to say headache but I said I don't want to deal because because I'm not dealing with just this young lady, man. I, I now have having, having to deal with this fella. You know what I'm saying? And, but you don't and, have but, to. But I mean, I, I mean, what, what right. I'm saying, I'm, I'm saying as far as this is, I mean, you, you, I don't have to. So but, or, or, I mean, I, I mean, it's, it's not happening. Well, it haven't happened in a while, or whatever and shit. But I'm just saying, like, it's just like, yo, I, I can't just call her and be like, yo, man, hey, what's up? Uh, this, uh, well, this and that. I hate to say you know it, like, it's really but, about you putting your foot me. down. Yeah, that, that's what it is. That, so that's, me, that's the biggest thing. My, my, even my wife said it. Even my wife I said it. bullshitted for years, bro. My, my wife, I didn't want to fall out with people. That's what I'm. That's what. That, that's the what? biggest thing. It was fuck me the whole ride. My wife said. My it wife said the same shit you said the saying, whole dog. time. Yeah. And I was being nice to a motherfucker that any way they could get over on me, they would have took it. My wife, but I'm the only nigga thinking like, okay, I can't do that to her. Her now that's, is now yeah, is fuck cut, you. It's, it's cut you know what I mean? Cut no, yeah. and and like, that's it, where I'm at. It too, made though. it listen. It made it even worse because I literally just found some shit. Like I don't go looking for shit. I'm right. a Libra. I believe shit fall, and I actually got to see one of my exes inbox. So I got to see all the niggas that I know in there and doing shit like that. And all it do was made it worse. I didn't feel no way towards her because I already felt that before. Right. But to see it with my own eyes, it's like, I can't have no love for a person that will be cool with niggas being fake with me. So now as a parent, shit, nigga, it's, it's no love. Like anything that I do nice now is because it's me. But I can be the mean nigga and be like, no, I don't give a fuck what you got going on. Abide by that court order. You know what I mean? But I don't do it. So that's why I say you just got to make sure she understand that, listen, my time is my time. I don't want to hear no shit. When it's time for me to get her, that's it. Like, if she's not there, the police will be at your house. And after two or three times and you fuck around and get awarded this whole kid's life, which you know it'll be better for your kid, but at the same time, it's all right. Look, you gotta look at it like this: the 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 black men from where we come from are fucked up. Right. So right now, women are used to niggas giving up, saying "fuck the kid," mm -hmm. and they have all of the power. So I don't even blame my kid's mom for being like how they are. It's like they got other kids, and they seen other niggas do it. So when they got to me, it was different. Like, 
is is really upsetting them because they like nigga why are you fighting for these kids right, right. let them go like everybody else bitch i'm not everybody else yeah, and i'm right. about to do what i gotta do for mine so right now i was never i wasn't even comfortable in my own skin without my kids when i wake up my kids there i'm at peace so like you just really gotta bite the bullet and be how they are. Yeah, no, some that's, bitter that, motherfuckers. That's, that's the big. That's the biggest thing that, that. That's my. That's my. I guess my downfall. Cause like like you like you said a little bit ago, just being um, just just like I, I don't I don't like having no no wiggle. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm, I'm cool, man. I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like, and like me, me knowing this lady for de- a decade plus or da da da. You know what I mean? Like, I guess that's that's no here nor there now. But but I'm, but but, but, but my wife. But my wife told me and she was like. Yo, you ain't listening, but I'm saying like, you know, what I'm saying I, I ain't want to be, but it, it be man, like I'm that. gonna tell you the flash shit ever, it just, bro. It, just, it, it, it sucks, dude. As I'm soon saying, like, as you walk like, away from motherfucker, like a good-hearted person will assume that you know we've been through a lot. This person ain't gonna do me bad, my nigga. How, how I think is fucked up because as soon as I'm done talking to person, excuse me, I automatically write that motherfucker off as she gonna fuck my landlord to get my rent raised. Yeah. <laughs> You know what I mean? And by me thinking that way, when I do find out shit that I already assumed, it don't hurt me. Like, I literally just found out the most shit a person can find out about a person that you care for at one time. But when you see how they move after y'all done, you be like, God damn, you know what I mean? How bad did I do you, bitch? So that's what I'm saying. Right now, all you got to do is secure your 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 spot with your kid. Right. And don't feel like, you being a bitch for your time. Because right, right. a motherfucker, man, listen, a motherfucker will be late to drop your kid off every week if they can. And I remember weekends where it was like, fuck me. It was like, well, she got to go to this birthday party because of my friend. Man, fuck your friend and they <laughs> kids, bitch. It's daddy time. You get what I'm right, saying? Right. So that's why I say you got to secure your shit as a father and you need to let her know Okay, bitch, we ain't playing no more. So oh, right the, now, and you need to report that date, yeah. and they can be like, "Well, she's supposed to be over here court order." And I guarantee they go knock on her door and tell her, "Listen, you pull some fly shit like that again, it ain't gonna be good." You need every time. Listen, I never say nothing. If a motherfucker call and tell me my kid gonna be late today, guess what I say? Okay, but it's documented. You know what I mean? So right now, if I just had an epiphany to get up, like okay. This motherfucker been late 19 times. I go right downtown and foul. And that mm-hmm. same motherfucker who been willy-nilly living her life uh, be calling me like, what's this court order about? It's about parenting. Because right. evidently, I don't know what you got going on, but it's fuck me. Well. So now, the crazy part is, a guy who been being nice to you, when I go and take the extra, the extra measure... Now is, oh, you you mad? At, I'm not mad, bitch. I just want to have my kid at the time I'm supposed to have her. That's well, it. Well, this well that well that particular call going to be happening very, very soon. Because, um, that's, that's, oh, no, it's right. already, what I'm talking about, this, this whole conversation are already. Right, right, saying, right. But, well, but I, and, and, oh, I want to say for the record, if my wife listens to this shit, whenever she listens to it, like, because she always say, like, oh, you don't listen to me, but you listen to what somebody else said, this and that. So, I'm saying what you're saying, you saying it from a male perspective yeah. that she was saying some they, things from they, a male perspective. Say, and she hit, listen, you know what man, I, so, I seen from I'm just I, I wanted I to make seen, sure I said that. <laughs> I seen from where you where you came and where you at, bro. Right. And, and you got a good thing going on. So, like I say, man, they say the man who finds a wife finds a blessing, and I say a real wife, not none of these fake ass Instagram wives. A, right, a right. real wife. You got a real family situation, and nigga, I'll tell you. I salute you, hey, ball joiner it, brother. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Facts. You know what I mean? So, no, man, just just never feel like you're being bitter for fighting for your kid because she needs you. You get what I'm saying?